All right, welcome. This is just a quick demonstration of using a visual reference point and a pull-up point to execute a pop-up CCIP attack against a ground target in the DCS F-16. So in this situation, a pop-up attack, my, uh, the gist is you want to ingress low and fast, pop up, roll in on the target, drop your bombs, and get out of dodge before anyone has a chance to get a shot off. Now, the idea is you plan ahead and you know where you need to pull up, where you need to roll in well in advance, and you have a reference in your avionics telling you when does this need to happen. So in this case, I used a uh, just a right triangle calculator and figured diving on this point from an altitude of 7,000 feet with a desired dive angle of 35 degrees, I'm looking for a roll-in point 9,997 feet at 7,000 feet above the target it, uh, from the target to five, four degrees. Then for the pull-up point, this is the point where I want to start pulling up at a 45 degree angle climb to reach this point at 7,000 feet. Uh, this is also referenced from the target. So this is 217 degrees, 15,800 feet away, and it is an elevation of 100 feet. Again, that's referenced to the target, not the ground. So 100 feet above the target's elevation. So how do we plug this into the jet? Well, you come in here and you're gonna go to list, button nine for VRP. And notice it says target to VRP. This is a good way to keep VRP and VIP separate in your head. The first thing in either one of those is the waypoint. In this case, target is the waypoint. For VIP, it would be VIP to target, which means that the VIP is the waypoint and then target is the target, naturally. So how are we gonna set this up? So I'm just gonna go ahead and feed it that information. So we've got the target waypoint, which is one. I'm gonna leave that where it is. Target bearing, I have this written down on my kneeboard here. That is two, five, four degrees, two, five, four, and it has decimal degrees. So I'm gonna add a zero, enter. Range was 9,997 feet. And elevation, once again, 7,000 feet relative to the target. And there we go. And then we just need to turn it on. So we're gonna dauber down to highlight the target to VRP and we're gonna hit M select to activate it. Now at this point, we just need to set up the pull-up point. It's basically the same gist. We're going to sequence target to pull-up point. I'll go ahead and turn it on now since we're already on the field. Target point, waypoint one, target bearing. That was 217.0 feet. Range was 15,800. and elevation was 100. Uh, if you ever had, a, say you're dealing with a target up on a mountain and you were wanting to pull up from a point below them, you wanted to flip your elevation to be a negative value, then you would just hit a number to bring up the field, hit zero to bring it up, zero once again to flip it to a negative. In my case, it's a positive though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in 100 feet. And there we go. So at that point, that's all set up, but you might notice if I were to turn on my Hemix here and look towards the waypoint, I could see the waypoint. I can't see any other reference points. Now, the reason for that is this only works in air to ground mode and it only works in CCRP. When it's set up correctly, you'll notice on the HUD, it says VRP CRP. You'll have symbols uh, similar to when the waypoint is off the edge of your HUD you'll have the symbol there just crossed out for all three of those points and then if I look over with my Hemix you'll see the target box which is the waypoint the circle which is my pull-up point and the diamond which is my visual reference point point. and while I'm here I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my bombs I'm gonna do a one pass haul ass with all six of these bombs clustered right on top of each other Completely unnecessary, just rude, but it gets the job done. There we go. So we're set up to ripple off three pairs and let's go with a 50 foot spacing. 
There we go. Let's get it out of air to ground. I'm gonna take off and we're gonna fly this attack. Come on, up, oh, there you go. Gear up. And again, I'm in nav, I can only see the waypoint at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and go master arm on, switch over to air to ground. I am in CCRP. Turn towards the target area. And you notice in the HUD, you can see all three of them now. Now, so to make this a little easier on myself, I'm going to come a little bit further to the northeast here to get my pull-up point and my visual reference point lined up with each other so I don't have to do any turning while I'm trying to do the lineup. Altitude. Altitude. And I bumped my cursor there, so I'm going to go ahead and cursor zero to make sure I don't screw up where my target is supposed to be. And a little bit further and we'll be good. Yeah, we'll call that good. We'll just turn just a few degrees to line up with the, uh, with the VRP. So, lined up with the pull-up point and a little low. So I'm just going to come up a bit. Now, as soon as we cross over this pull-up point, I'm just going to pull up to the visual reference point. I am ignoring the max toss anticipation cues here because I'm not doing a toss bombing attack. There it is. And up, nice four or five G pull. And boom, there we are, 45 degrees. A little more than. I'm just gonna add in some afterburner so I don't slow down. Five, six, and seven thousand feet rolling in. And now that I'm lined up visually, switching to CCIP. As you can see, I screwed up the dive angle just a skosh, but eh. And pickle. And safe escape. Probably not done correctly. I'm not a professional by any means. And shack. In any case, I hope this was helpful. We'll leave it off here.